The revelation by the West African Examination Council that the Sokoto and Zamfara state governments failed to register students in public schools for the ongoing West African Senior Secondary School Examination poses grave concern that resonates beyond the two northwestern states. Different narratives have actually been given by both uh, the WIAC authority and the government of the two states. Does it demonstrate the insufferable careless attitude to education by Nigeria's political leadership? What is the fate of students from these two states? Now, uh, to discuss this further, we have joining us in the studio a writer and educationist, Denja Abdullahi, uh, right here in the studio with us. Good morning and thank you for joining us. Good morning. Us. Thank you for having me. All right. Also joining us via phone call, we have the Commissioner of Information, Zamfara State, Ibrahim Magaji Dosara, also joining us uh, from Guso. Good morning and welcome to a Daybreak. Good morning. It's nice having me in the studio this morning. All right. So uh, let's start uh, with uh, the commissioner. Now, uh, what is the reason behind this development? Can you give us a background of, you know, why this has actually happened in, in Zamfara State? Well, um, first of all, I want to greet our viewers. Uh, it is nice having me in the studio. Uh, in the first place, we have seen so many write-ups, so many criticisms, so many ridicules on both social and traditional media on our state of uh, position regarding the payment of uh, this year's YA. Well, um, we have not said anything because we are a government of focus. We are a government of direction, and we have decided to take this action because one, security of lives and property is number one thing for every government across the world. And we want to keep it to that uh, provision. And number two, uh, people should understand our predicament in the area of security challenges. People should understand the enormous humanitarian crisis we have in Zamfara State, and people should understand the paucity of funds uh, almost every state is facing, uh, particularly in Zamfara, where we have uh, the enormous security challenges. Uh, when we came on board as a government, we met a liability of about two billion naira O2 Waek and NECO. And the government immediately paid part of this uh, uh, debt O2 Waek and NECO, uh, which was the reason why students were able to get their previous certificates that were withheld by INEC and Waek, I mean by Waek and mm. NECO. And uh, uh, we had an arrangement with the INEC. I mean, with, sorry, with, with, with Wyatt, Wyatt. on gradual offsetting of these debts, considering the huge animal security challenges we are facing in the state. And uh, we have been expecting the, the, the Wyatt to come and sign the agreement on this aspect, and Wyatt has not come yet. And you, you, you should understand also that WIAC is not the only examination that students can sit mm. to, I mean, go to tertiary institution. Mm. We have other examination bodies uh, that their time has not expired. And even the WIAC, we are consulting with any relevant, uh, I mean, authorities to ensure that our students are allowed to take the WIAC examination. But in case the WIAC refused us, we have an alternative. And ECHO is there, MBTE is there, and uh, their time has not lasted. So we are assuring the parents that their children will write the external examinations and uh, they will proceed to the tertiary institution in the name of God. So uh, people should not bother 
the parents with all these write-ups, all these criticisms that uh, uh, do not help matters, rather warning matters. And again, I want to say, Lagos, which is the richest state, I mean state in Nigeria, is not paying YX. Why Lagos is not being criticized for not paying? Parents have been paying YX. Not only Lagos. I think all states in the south uh, and the southwest and the northwest, I mean, uh, uh, northeast and, and southern states in general, I don't think if there is any state that is paying YX. And yet they are not being criticized. Why Zamfara that is facing this animal crisis of security challenges with, with paucity of funds? 